tragedy order our lives how long will we listen to this cry before we take a stand mm -hmm. here we lie how long will we waste precious time you see our youth is passing by what have we done for our land? Oh, now won't you look before your eyes and beyond your mind? This is a call to rise, to rise and take your place. I want a country where my dreams are safe and nothing can stop me a land where peace and love abound in every heart let that be our language let that be our song that we will rise and see the beauty in this land where we belong home, home. this is your body your body your body Now won't you look before your eyes and beyond your mind? This is a call to rise, to rise and take your place. Won't you look before your eyes, beyond your mind? This is a call to rise, to rise and to take your place. Oh, won't you look before your eyes and beyond your mind? and love abound in every heart let that be our language let that be our song that we will rise and see the beauty in this land where we belong Oh, 
My name is Lisa Odona, and today is International Women's Day. Yes. Touching even say, girl, you look good. Yeah. If you next day, girl, you look yeah. good. Yeah. All of you look yeah. good. Yeah. I have the pleasure of being the host um, on this wonderful journey through music by these amazing women that I'm surrounded by today. And the global theme for this International Women's Day is Breaking the Bias, where we're celebrating a world where difference is valued and celebrated. I'd like to mention our partners. First up, we have UN Women. Shout out to you guys. Thank you for believing in us and being a partner with us. We'd also like to celebrate Safarico. Remember how they say? The better option. Mm. What is it now? Simple? Simple. Transparent. Uh-huh. Eh? Honest. For Honest. You. Oh. For you. For you. <laughs> for you. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, there are some nice... There's some plumage around here, you know. It's not just sunflowers, you know. We're also blooming, you know. <laughs> looking cute, looking gorgeous. Okay. Can you look at these lovely ladies <laughs> in these gorgeous colors? <laughs> the girls observe, you know, observe. Big shout out to Bloom Kenya. We thank you so much for dressing us in these dapper, gorgeous clothes, you know. Oh. Thank you so much. I'd like to invite this songstress to tell us about her song. All right, my name is Kendi Nkonge Mohol, and yeah, Nyumbani really was a song I wrote a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Um, since I was young, I've always been passionate about the environment yeah. um, and just passionate about helping people understand what nature means to all of us. Mm-hmm. But now today, as women, and we're talking about that aspect of gender equality when it comes to climate change, right. we need people to understand that women have been the natural stewards of natural resources. Come on, now, right? So women are the ones who have that burden of, of you know, being able to find these resources, being right. able to adapt to how these resources are moving as the world is moving. And we're just saying today that also when these resources are affected, women are also affected, yeah. right? Absolutely. And that ties in beautifully into the UN Women's theme, which right. is gender equality today for a sustainable future tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Bouncing off what you've talked about, um, women are the backbone of communities, you know, they're the ones who raise the children, Mm -hmm. not to devalue the role of men, but a lot of the time it's your aunties, your mothers, they're the ones who surrounded you. Bouncing off the point about climate change and just gender inequality, uh, there's research that has been done uh, that states that women are the ones who actually are directly disadvantaged the most when things happen um, around the world, especially concerning climate change. Um, One of the biggest disadvantages is less access to human rights, you know. Um, When things get thick in the country, hey, think. When things get thick. Come on, but also I'm thinking on my feet. So we're going (laughs) as we go. So when things get thick, the people who get impacted first are the women and children. And usually women, girls, we're more vulnerable to human trafficking, more vulnerable to, um, like, child marriage as well you know because now guys are like what we do the quickest way out is now banking on the weakest in society you know um other things like lack of resources you find that it's the women who go in search for fuels um Mm -hmm. who go long distances in search for water you know um i think there was something about senegal women in senegal going really long distances to look for water to feed their community um also when you think about displacement due to natural disasters the people who tend to be in hardest hit Uh, who have to move also when they're going to refugee camps um, are women and children and things like poor healthcare now come in you know so you have high uh, maternal death rates which begin to impact us as well you know Um, and it's saddening unfortunately uh, the burden still rests on us you know at the same time not just us as creatives I mean even right now looking at the news you know with war going on Look at the trains. They're really trying to get women and children out first because they know, apart from the men serving in the army, it's them who will be hardest hit, you know? They're the ones who are going to be left at home. They're the ones who will have to now fend for themselves as well, now that even they're not home. Um, But circling back now to someone who was incredible in championing climate change and fighting for our forests in Kenya. Um, That should be the biggest hint. We have a giveaway for 1,500 shillings or 1,500 shillings of airtime. 
If you can tell me, drumroll please. Which famous environmental activist was also known as Mama Trees? Mm. If you know, first person in the comments down below, tell us. There's credit waiting for you. Thank you. Quickly. Come on, quickly, yeah. quickly. Fast, come fast. Yeah, look, thank look, you. Look, it's look gone. somebody has sent. See, it's over. It's gone. Quisha, yeah. finished. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for you, it's for? It's for you <laughs> from Safaricom. So yeah. I'd like to segue to inviting my dear friend to tell us a bit about her song. Um, every time I sing the song, it takes on an entirely new meaning. Um, and perspective, mm -hmm. and for today, which is International Women's Day, yeah. um, it reminds me of the fact that women tend to make ourselves, we tend to make ourselves smaller, right. tend to make ourselves softer, um, we tend to um, lead ourselves into having softer boundaries, into, um, I don't know, dimming our lights so Absolutely. that we can be accepted and loved in spaces where we really should be able to be ourselves to receive that love anyway. Absolutely. Um, so with this song, I hope that you hear that you are able to dream and be ambitious and be curious um, and be loud and aggressive mm. um, and still be receiving of all the love and all the softness and Absolutely. tenderness and jewels and adornment that you do deserve. Come on. So this is I hope. I hope that you start to feel the sunshine in your cracks. start to heal with all the starlight in your heart sing it with me for you deserve a brand new love you deserve the sky up above you do Start to live the dreams inside your soul. Mm -hmm. I hope you run with the wind and find your wings up where you go. You do.
Now we have the wonderful Jackie Caro. Thank you. I thought I did that somewhere. Oh. <laughs> um, my name is Barbara. <laughs> my <laughs> um, my name is Barbara Wangoi. Um, and that is I hope a song off of my first ever EP um, called Shorts. Um, yeah, yeah. We go back to Njoki, yeah. who is one of my favorite songwriters to ever oh exist yeah. in the whole world. Yeah. She's all our favorite. <laughs> by the one way. of my favorite songwriters. That song I, I wrote for her in my uh. dreams. <laughs> Then you know somehow she picked uh, it up. I don't know from um, where, but you know what she did. She did, you know, she did text me that line. Yeah. That yeah. Everyone, yeah. We're just coming to but I did the same thing to her song holds. <laughs> See, so hold on, hold on. Before we go too far, <laughs> Joki. Hi, my name is Joki Kari. Hi, Joki. Hi, Joki. Hi, Hi Masi. <laughs> uh, and this is Mario. When do you Kuna pokucha Kuna pokucha
Hey. 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 Oh, yeah, daylight. Wow. We hope for daylight. We look <laughs> no. to daylight. Mm. Oh. So, 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 you stay tuned for our next message from UN Women. My mother gave birth to me smiling. There was air for the newborn. Trees danced to the sound of my little giggles and the birds come singing. Look, there's a newborn, a new air to our land. And the wind brought good news from the mountains and the land gave birth to our daily bread. We broke bread daily and the rivers brought water from the great Nile. Our water tasted like the promised land you could drink and feel at home at night. My grandmother would make these little fires and told us stories of how we can become something kind for our people. Our people were beautiful. Their skin remembered how the rain tasted like, but now there is no ground to walk on. For some reasons, the sun is angry at us. The wind stopped singing in my favorite songs. Sometimes it sings too loud. The mountains speak in fire, fire, danger. Run, it's the women and children's lives that are on fire. In danger, run, the trees aren't happy anymore. They are just standing there watching their mothers die. I'm scared to give birth to my mother's grandchild. What air will she breathe? What ground will she walk on? There will be no ground to walk on anymore. What if we don't do it? I mean, it's easier to look the other way and pretend it doesn't exist. This is just another problem. It will go away. It doesn't have to stay this way. Maybe we forgot the unconditional love this land has given us, protected us, fed the ungrateful, us fearless, careless, and kind. We became. Go ahead. Scramble this little marble of ours, we'll find another one, a new one, maybe the unbroken one. Go on, cut every hope to humanity, pollute every corner. It's not because it doesn't like us, it's because we don't want it. Here, yeah, you can have it. Let that wind come and wash us away. We don't want us anyway. Please stop it. A call for action is not a call for permission. Some challenges have better options, but this one, this one here is our only option. It's an emergence for God's sake. Do something. Do it now. It's the little things that count. Counting on you to take responsibility. Ability to see no one is coming. No one is coming to clean and protect our planet. Wildlife and forests. Water and waterfalls. That ice on mountain Kilimanjaro. Our big five in Ngorongoro. Our seas and oceans this air will be so clean your lungs will start singing and dancing and wishing you happy and long long life what if we all do it let's support women across the world who have been trying to protect this planet i heard if we speak to women in this movement women will teach this planet how to love and forgive and bear children if we involve women if women are involved maybe then we'll have something kind to work on.
but still I'll be waiting. Your salvation is a you guys at home but me I'm crying <laughs> hey <laughs> do my best here wow. <laughs> yeah. Listen. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, correct that wow. that is thank you my friend yeah. yeah um that's it and the funny thing is um it was written in COVID and it brought me comfort um yeah. comfort that I very much needed linga linga means hush mm. hush my child and sometimes mm. you need to talk to yourself you know oh, yeah mm. you need to talk to yourself very gently, mm. tenderly. Mm. Yeah. yeah, comfort is coming. Now, mm. we're gonna change the pace a little bit, <laughs> and <coughs> I wanna jog your memory a little bit, girls. Mm-hmm. Okay. First of all, I wanna see just by the intro. Those of you at home, if this intro played, will you know what song this is? It's going to date us, unfortunately. Mm. Somebody said carbon dating. Now I would I like to collect you, eh? Just, just correct your see mistake. yourself out. You know when the teacher says, see me. <laughs> see me. See me. See me in red. <laughs> you know when the math teacher would hand you the paper like full this. Dead, full <laughs> dead. Yeah. Full dead. I'm seeing you. Yeah, yeah, I'm see giving it. you the paper. The see the me. Yeah. 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 Oh. Tindy, can you help me? <laughs> with this intro. All right. Is that a bass? If you know it. 
Right. And I need eh. comments. In the comment. I need to see you. Money for you. Exactly. Some money around the tune of 1500. Some more credit for you. Go and talk to your sweet something. In fact, <laughs> this, to- this song. Oh yeah. By this lady. That's what she was trying to say. She said, "Sakuga sati pega." Sakuga sati pega. Sakuga sati pega. Sakuga sati pega. The, that's the right thing. If you know this song, first of all, prepare yourself for the. You know that thing. There's in a the leg. Video. There's a leg. There's a leg. <laughs> this one. There's a leg uniform. somewhere. This one. <laughs> yeah. Right, left. Here we go. Now we're going back to the east eh? If you are child for Coca-Cola pop stars. Oh my god. Take a Present. position in the living room. Present. Right now, okay? in the house. Present. Present. Hey, where? Papa said in the house. Yeah, okay, yeah, maybe not. Here we go. The chairs are not too good. Ah, 
And we're going to reference some more later. Uh, the first song was Pata Pata. Come on, there we go. Pata Pata by Auntie Nimia Makiba. Auntie, Auntie. Come on, Auntie. 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 Personally, I would like to say, if I were you, collect the credit. Collect, collect it. it. Put it in your so air. Who not like enjoyment Pick with it. a lot of credit? <laughs> okay? Pick it. Call Please. somebody. Call somebody. <laughs> okay? So, here's my question. 1,500. This feels like who's now. For 1,500 shillings, you know, Regina Ray, <laughs> how at you. Uh, for 1,500 shillings, who can guess the name of the lead singer in the group Makoma? The Yay. song was called Butu Namoi. Oh okay? God. But I'm sure all of you sang the wrong lyrics. Yeah, yeah, I, did. Like, did we all? In fact, <laughs> I was seeing them right for the la- for first <laughs> time here today. <laughs> <laughs> I saw them right. Remember that? You sing the last bar. <laughs> Number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. That's what it sounded like. He said he was like, he was So, friends, what is the name of the lead singer in Makoma? Mm-hmm. That, the lady who sang that part, I'm sure because all of you did that ad lib for. Leave us so, leave us so. Nah, that lady, the only. Okay? <laughs> yeah, that one, that and then we have another one. My sister Joki, can you help me? Yeah. So, who? Mm-hmm. Are you listening? Mm-hmm. You need a drum roll. Mm-hmm. Unaskiza. You need a drum roll. Amuskizi nyinyi. Unaskiza. Eh? Yeah, give me a drum roll. Yeah, give, me a drum roll. <laughs> give me one, please. So that it gives you uh, attention. Sawa. Who was the first woman to win a Grammy? Uh-huh. Oh, oh my goodness. What a nice woman. question. Yeah, right? You don't know. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you. You, you don't, don't want my answer. Are you seeing her? In, look right at her face. Look. You. There is air time. Yeah. <laughs> Who is the first woman? Now, <laughs> let me make it a little harder. Mm-hmm. And up the stakes a bit. <laughs> For 2,000 shillings. Oh. Can I answer me? No, <laughs> sister. <laughs> uh, but we're postponed, first of all, you're out, <laughs> okay? I need a food. The people who buy bundles, you're going to buy this credit and then so you can buy bundles. No, no, <laughs> we don't know. But if you can answer me, who is the first African woman? First person. First African woman to win a Grammy. Uh-huh. So there's first woman and first African, African woman. woman. The people type who get this, type, type, type quickly. Sister Shinda, DM me, I tell you. Joki uh, Sasa, <laughs> enemy of progress. Why Why you tell them that, sir? In fact, please, if you see them commenting, just say, uh-uh, just <laughs> no, no, mute. No, no. <laughs> mute all of us, if you ever see us commenting. Eh? Mm. Please. You know, I think one of the coolest things about um, singing those songs is seeing the women who've gone ahead of us, um, especially being in this era. I think ours is like, especially prime 90s era. Yeah. I can't imagine what these women were going through, you know, sis. Like, imagine being Miriam, and then there's a party, then there's still racism, and she moved to the US, you know? And I can't imagine, like, even just looking for collabs or finding a label to yeah. actually back your music. Yeah. I, 
hey man even Brenda Fassi and then we've not even talked about in in the house you know yeah. and like imagine what they were up against at the time yeah. yeah i i i can't imagine what that would have looked like especially being in the space we're in now where we can even do things like this right yeah. you know freely yeah. you know if we wanted mm-hmm. True. Yeah. yeah um i'd like to ask i guess for you guys who's a woman who inspires you and how in music or generally in life generally you can actually let's try it in music and in life actually it's just in life mm-hmm. it's wangari mathai ah yeah she's just one of those people i find who she stood her ground right. she stood for what she believed in and mm-hmm. especially she stood for what she knew was right right which nowadays it's a hard thing to do you know because first of all you'd be cancelled uh, immediate <laughs> yeah for differing opinions yeah for differing mm-hmm. opinions but then how how much more then right. in the early mm-hmm. 2000s you right. know where mm-hmm. First of all, the environment. Yeah, mm-hmm. what is the environment? Yeah. Yeah. And then you, as oh. a woman, as you're turning yourself to a tree. Yep. Mm-hmm. How? What are these things that you're doing? Right. So, I really, really like um, her philosophies and how for for her, her main thing was do what you can with what you have. Absolutely. And I find, yeah, I find especially for us as we are in this space, you know, we mm-hmm. are not at wealthy. We don't yeah. have much of what financially we don't have as many resources yeah. as people as yet. other people may have yeah yet yet but we have something absolutely yes and we can harness we can that thing it. for mm-hmm. social change yeah, and for good, for good. Yes. yeah oh. i'd probably say music and it has to be june gashui for absolutely me. Yeah. oh yeah sure. absolutely yeah. Oh, yeah um sure. just seeing um so much greatness harnessed in one body mm-hmm. of a woman right um seeing just her heart for what she does one thing that really stands out about her for me mm-hmm. is her excellence in every Everything single detail yeah. you know mm-hmm. every single detail she will not leave any stone unturned absolutely and she'll still be excellent at it all mm-hmm. yeah. yeah and also how she paves ways for the rest of us yeah. right. which is what she's done yeah. mm-hmm. pretty much i think it's also a stellar thing when everyone in a room can Greece. agree ah, yeah. not only your character yeah. and your work yeah. stand yeah. out you know yeah. that you've your like an emblem for mm. uh, what we want to and aspire to be you know not just for ourselves but even to those who will be looking at us you yeah. know um i'd also like to ask what do you guys think are the things like pressures and expectations that we have as women in the industry in the entertainment industry not just in music you know because in as much as we might be performing this business and there's other sides in the creative arts but what do you think uh, what do you think i'd like to answer that one yes please um so lately i've not been on the performance side of music right i've been on the back end of music and i've been privileged to work in teams that are not just kenyan mm-hmm. so first of all women are so rare in right the behind the scenes, um, scenes mm-hmm. side right and that's crazy because if um, Miriam and you know Brenda Farsi right were doing things then you'd think we'd have you know more right. access Position, now yeah. right mm-hmm. and it's normally Those even when the artists are coming uh, for their sound checks or mm-hmm. something they're very surprised to see oh women are hi more. yeah you and know. i don't know what that's about yet right. but one thing i've seen is that because we are that few we don't get the same level of mistakes time mm-hmm. you yeah. need to come mm-hmm. finished yeah. to the to yeah. the game yeah. and there is a boy or a guy in turn who has forgotten a cable somewhere and there's nothing wrong we should be able to do the same mm. and i think that's just what it takes to be a woman in the business mm. is you have to show up correct already mm. right there's no room for your mistakes or whatever mm-hmm. so if you see a female sound guy if she does a bad show it's not the same as a, fe- a male sound guy mm-hmm. because you know what i mean he has more mess up time right and i guess that's the whole idea of dimming um and shrinking yeah. and whatever because yeah yeah and it's very hard to always come correct yeah, yeah you know we need we need room to mm-hmm. mess up so we can grow yeah yeah um so i i want to take a poll in this room um Have any of you had like even an inappropriate encounter or like the comment that was just made you know and, I, and you expected to brush it off and continue like in your performance backstage like someone comes and says okay where is the real band you oh. know what I mean <laughs> so like in the in the yeah. room how many oh. like I think all of us right yeah. every person yeah. is the real I remember band? even we showed up for a certain project mm-hmm. and the guy walked straight to the dude not knowing I'm the one in charge and I was yes. like that's so interesting like yeah. you instantly assume maybe my value isn't as as high 
you know yeah. maybe because it's like ah the guy must be handling things yeah. you know that's happened to me sorry yeah. Yeah. go ahead I just <laughs> the, so much. <laughs> oh my God. The, the number of times that they assume you're not the mind behind the work that's it that's oh um, lord <laughs> and artists are amazing the people who are able to stand up and perform that mm-hmm. is a skill beyond so, right um, but many times they will assume that the woman is the one that's going to be singing mm-hmm. or um, you know the, the, the nice face um, but yeah, the then nice dress. right yeah. with a nice dress and I'm like yeah I'm going to have the nice face and the nice dress but and I also put child. the mind right. behind all this work mm-hmm. that and, I happened, right? and I fold and wires right and I fold wires and I fold wires right and yeah. I can produce and I can yeah. write my own music exactly. I can there's so many things that I don't know, and it's so unfortunate. Um, at, but like speaking about someone like June, who literally everyone, every single person in this room can vouch for her. Yeah. You know, at least personally, I can already say everyone here that I'm sitting with has vouched for me, has supported me, has opened doors for me. You know, just like as you have. Just, just as oh. you have. Yeah. 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 thank for you. Sure. Sure. But like, who are the other women? You know, um, apart from June, who we've all agreed upon, and yeah. even ourselves, which I. Guys, this is like a rarity. You know, it's not. There's no drama. <laughs> there's no beef. <laughs> Hello. Because the other thing is, why does it have to love be Olive? Oh. Is it a good time to say I love Olive? <laughs> it's a great oh. time to say I love Olive. Oh, love it. <laughs> <laughs> More female dramas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yeah, like yeah. who are other women? You know, um, doesn't have to be Kenyan. Yeah. Oh, that opens up a plethora. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I would like to actually shout out Nechessa. Yeah. Yes. Um, I met Nechessa when I was 18. Yeah. Uh, oh my goodness. Deep. And there's so much that your mind and musicality mm-hmm. has that has seeped into mm. who I am as a musician. Yeah. I know it's not just me, not just in this room. Mm. No. Um but you have been a huge influence mm-hmm. in just my ideas of music and life and being wow. a person. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So, wow. <laughs> speaking of, it reminds me of when I had my first gig. Yeah. And it just showed up backstage yep. and she was like, okay, things need to move. Mm. I, I don't even know if you remember. You know, she's there, mm. makeup artist. What's happening? Yeah. What? Which color is supposed to be on the eyes? <laughs> <laughs> and nobody <laughs> hired me. I just showed up. <laughs> but even just speaking as your friends, if you can take this moment to honor you, you show oh, up for guys. your people. You oh, allow, guys. allow, allow. You, yeah. you show up for your people. Oh, thank you. Guys. And I don't thank think you. anyone of us can. We we don't know how to accurately express That's how that showing up, yeah. like, buffs us up. You yeah. Know? Yeah. 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 Thank you. No. Your f- appreciate Big your friends, you people. She you them. Them. Tell your people you love them. <laughs> right. We love you. Oh my God. Also, shout out to Whitney Wanderer. Whitney. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Madam Wa in mic. Eh? Yeah, Whitney Everything you're seeing here. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. The brain, yeah. organizer, and the heart. Yeah. And, the heart okay? yeah. and Elsie Sawe. Come on, yeah. baby. We're shouting you out, guys. Like, you guys are marvelous women. And imagine yeah. we're starting with this much. What will oh. you do when? people are willing to offer you so much more you know um and i guess i'd ask what do you think needs to change you know for sure i think one thing we can say is how we need to be to participate more you know i don't know not just in showing up for each other in our gigs you know but even outside of that you know Mm -hmm. championing one another you know the same way at least for me i can say when the album came out all of these guys kept pushing stuff you know and even people who might not necessarily even have been heard you know, ever. Um, for instance, I'm gonna shamelessly plug Kasiva's re- dropping an EP soon. Mm, Go Kasiva. You know, um, and people are working on projects this year. Joki is working on a project this year. You know, and all of us in different ways, wherever you see us, push, push. It kindness costs you nothing. One. It, we need a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. Kindness costs you nothing. Kindness costs you nothing. Also, kindness supporting you one another. <laughs> <laughs> Name a few children but after. Kindness <laughs> owes you nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Do things. <laughs> and you know, I have to take this moment to shout out Safaricom. Yeah. You know, they're one of the few companies in Kenya who are trying to even achieve the 50-50 gender yeah. equality yeah. policy, yeah. you know, in their company. They also have policies that allow women in Kenya to thrive in their companies. You know, yeah. they have built um, uh, lactation centers within uh, their Safaricom um, offices. offices. Yeah. They've also given, I think, four-month maternity leave. Okay. 
as well and more flexi hours are you hiring <laughs> listen <laughs> she's in green let's change the hello <laughs> she's, she's, she's ready, ready. <laughs> she's ready <laughs> and i think the dream said it best he said if you like what you're hearing here yeah. as the dream said you should tip her <laughs> you should tip her <laughs> so sh- tip the shorties yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. the number the is on you yeah. okay. the shorties your money give you. the shorties your money be good you know not just because <laughs> okay. we look cute yeah. but because we sound great really? you know <laughs> anyway we're going to segue into a medley of women who some old some new some who are changing the world musically outside there you know for instance one of the people we're going to reference is Laura Mvula mm. um, she's a composer and a singer yeah. incredible yeah. incredible yeah. mind yeah. musically yeah. you know angelique kijo mm. i mean how many of you just go ah oh, girl uh, immediately go ah oh, oh, girl right. immediately you know and guys like india who foundations of neo soul mm. yep. different people like that so girls yep let's go let's, let's go, go. me and I am you. Every one of us is worthy. Ah 
See, we're all in our fields, and mm. I think this is the perfect segue. Like, that song is by Fena. Hey. Fena, hey. shout out, Fena. She wrote a song called Phenomenal Woman, Phenomenal Girl. And I think sometimes as women, we get trapped in the roles that we play. You know, we think of you get married or you have a child and tell Mama Nani, yeah. Nani's wife, you know, who are you? And then also, exactly, someone's sister. Any role that we play, we tend to sometimes fade into the background. What Barbara was talking about, dimming ourselves, you know, and I think. Maybe the bigger conversation is about learning how to love ourselves first and learning us learning to love ourselves in those as ourselves before we even enter those roles and defining those roles and how we behave or act or how we want to fit in them exactly, Barbara. Um, and even the song that's coming next, like Jockey, I think it's a perfect way to describe that, you know. Um, yeah, I like what you said about learning how to, s- to, lear- to love ourselves before we even enter those roles. There's something... I was listening to someone called Jordan Peterson, um, and you were saying how misplaced the meaning is in society because we are told when you feel good about yourself now, right. then your self-esteem should be up. Yeah. But it says good self-esteem is feeling good about who you could possibly be. Wow. And I feel then that gives you so much more room and so much more grace for yourself, mm. for where you find yourself and for right. where you could be because it means you have something to hope for. Come on. Yeah. And I feel this song, when I wrote this song, um, 
it's just one of those songs for understanding that I won't always be okay. Right. But giving myself grace and being like, imagine maybe tomorrow I wake up and I'll feel like a star. Right. And that's going to be an amazing day. Yeah. And it's enough. And it's enough. Yeah. And having to learn how to be enough in whatever space you find yourself. Yeah. You know, and I think COVID really taught us that. <laughs> Just learning how to be enough now. Yeah. Right. Not tomorrow, but now. And just being like, I know what I can be tomorrow, but I'm enough now. Exactly. Mm. So Holds is that song for me. It's it's one of those healing mm -hmm. songs exactly. That's yeah. it for me. Yeah, I and don't it's know. It's an anthem for all strange. of us, you know. Um, because yeah. you remind us to be where our feet are and to be enough for mm. where my feet are is enough for me. Yeah. Who I am is enough for me, you know, Holds and all. Yeah. Take it away. Hold, hold through the curtains, hold, hold through my heart the night. I patch them up. Could be, 
And maybe someday you'll be enough Not for anyone other than you Oh, maybe one day you'll be enough For someone and that someone is you for someone and that someone is you right for someone and that someone is you for someone and that someone is you such a powerful message on self-worth and loving yourself and being enough you know why don't we take this opportunity and Baba can you help me out to celebrate women who are championing I guess the UN women cause for gender equality today for a sustainable future tomorrow mm -hmm. and these are women from all over the continent uh, right now uh, Barbara I think there's a Kenyan right right her name is Charlotte Magai uh-huh what is Charlotte and up to and she is c creating um, eco-friendly stoves for people to use uh -huh. um, and I think hers came from I think her daughter was in an accident um, with a fire or like a stove and she just said <laughs> nope, nope. <laughs> and uh, thus was born this great thing where now she's creating sus um, more eco-friendly and sustainable um, stoves mm -hmm. so yeah there's a Kenyan right. there's also a Ugandan okay, come on, and ladies. her name is Hilda Nakabuye come on Hilda and she I remember seeing her on Instagram like three years ago when right. I even myself did not really know much about much. yeah that much about climate straight climate change mm -hmm. uh, and she was the founder of Fridays for our future oh wow um, where kids don't go to school on Friday mm -hmm. to protest climate change wow. because they are the wow. ones that have to live this in the Uganda. future wow. Amazing. Um, where all the stuff has happened to the environment mm -hmm. and the space that they live in mm -hmm. um, and a Nigerian who to started the, the same thing in hers is Oladosu Adenike. Adenike. <laughs> we celebrate you. Um, and she not only started the Fridays for Our Future in mm -hmm. Nigeria, but she also has a very active Twitter account mm -hmm. where she um, educates people on mm -hmm. all the effects of climate change, answers mm -hmm. questions, um, and is always, always very informative about what more we can do to help our environment to better our future. Mm -hmm. And those women are killing it. Come on. Yeah. So cool. All of us That's here so cool. celebrate you. We yeah. do. As in yeah. worldwide. You know, it, uh, like we said earlier, women are the backbone of community. And these women have taken the initiative mm. to change their communities. Yep. And I want to celebrate one who has just been changing this internal one here. Yeah. Yeah. You know, who's an incredible songwriter? Leave alone stage manager. Oh my God. Oh, come on now. <laughs> and our friend. And our what an honor. <laughs> Would you like to introduce yeah. the next song? <sighs> All right. Um, so first I'd like to introduce, you know, it's International Women's Day. Like, I don't think you, come can on. you remember? Yay. Do you remember? <laughs> one, more remember? Just one more time. One more time. Okay. But one more thing is that it's Barbara's birthday. Oh. So we're going to sing happy birthday. Because yeah. it's her birthday, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, and I'm going to dance to your happy birthday song, so make it good. And this is <laughs> such <laughs> a good day to be born. Hello, Can you imagine? Please. Imagine. It's it's like everybody celebrating. It's this in March, yeah. and it's in Anyway, and just give me, give me a, a Holy Ghost key. Just something <laughs> so spiritual. Yeah. Just, uh, Glory. Okay, we're gonna go straight into the African one. African one. There's okay, no time yeah, to yeah. 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 One, one, two. Happy birthday, dear Barbara. 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 Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Oh, oh, oh. 
Mm-hmm. Barbara is a dear, dear oh. friend of mine, yes. so we had to do that. All right, uh, my name is Nechesa, mm-hmm. and the song we're about to sing is a song I wrote called Tulia. And I feel like um, just maybe historically or just where we've, just our journey as women, we are strivers. We've just had to be strivers. We've had to be hard workers. We've had to be so many things. Grit, blood, bone, sweat, tears. The song to Leah is to tell you that start to find joy and gifts in rest. Like now let's just start to rest. Let's start to have moments where we breathe, inhale, exhale. So that we can, we can see what other versions of life we can live. Um, my friend uh, Vereso, very good musician, said the other day, we need to see who we become in the in this in, in when we are resting. Mm. I mean, that's that's just how I hope we end this concert. That right. at this point, um, we just see women who are walking into restful spaces, peaceful spaces, and that's just my my hope for all of you. Mm. All right, let go.
Am I going to sleep? Can you imagine? What is this? How can you leave us like that? Surely, surely. In whose hands are we safe now if they're not yours right now? <laughs> um, I would like to. Unfortunately, that was our last song, guys. I guess you just have to come back next time. And like we said, if you're enjoying and you have enjoyed the music, you know what to do. Tip tip up. You should tip, tip her, okay? Tip <laughs> I would like to thank our partners, you and Women Kenya. Thank you so much. Safaricom. Thank you for being for us. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, we are plugging you, but thank you for being for us. <laughs> and for the lovely ladies of Bloom Kenya. For Ooh. Come on. Ooh. Can we strike a pose? Strike a pose Ooh. for the picture Ooh. now. Ooh. Uh, please. But members, can you even come and join us? Come on now. We, we're not the only ones looking cute. You look cute. Come forward. Hey. Come, forward eh? come on now. The Thank you so much. Beautiful. Coming cute. Like Let's give them a second to come up close. Come closer. Come on, Let me represent. Oh, Lord, have mercy, mercy, mercy. <laughs> you know, the lovely ladies are looking gorgeous. <laughs> when I quit a gorgeous. When I quit a gorgeous. You know, um, and I'd like to thank Artville for sound as well and yeah. splendid events for the set design, you know, and the production team at In Mike. We love you guys. We love you. So thank much. you for putting this together. I'd like to take this privilege and honor to introduce these amazing women that you see before you once again, you know. To my extreme left, this is the lovely lady on the drums, Olive Carmen. Hey. What are your handles, madam? Please tell us. Where do we find you? At Olive Carmen or social media. Handles. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I have the been sweetly <laughs> informed <laughs> that they shall be in the description box, so All we'll right. just go oh, and okay. I'll let you do who everyone is. Okay. The lovely lady in brown. Hey. Madam hey. Kendi oh. in Kongo Moho. Thank you, thank you. Thank wonderful you singer, wonderful woman, you know. Sikili, that was the top on the bass. Mutindi, tindi. Everywhere. Lovely lady on the bass. In the emerald green. Mm. The one lovely. Joki Karo. Mm. 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 Right next to her is the lovely Barbara wow. Wongoy. Hello. Back to go. Fantastic. Mm. Songwriters. Oh. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Call them for your needs, okay? Yes, Plug your friends. <laughs> These are my friends. <laughs> Plugging them. <laughs> right here. Mm. Hey. Uh, my yeah. left hand girl. Wow. Oh. What's your name? I'm Ivy Alexander. Is Alexander your name? I'm Anya Kujiwekea. Ask again. Is Alexander your name? I'm Anya Kujiwekea. Um, I'm international. Oh! oh. Yeah. So sorry. Oh. Yeah. So sorry. I'm not Internet. Not inter. Okay. Inter. International. International. Known. All right, Ivy. She can the guitar. That is our darling Ivy Alexander. To my... To my light. My name is Masi. Uh -huh. I played the keys today. Oh. Mm. Shall we please down. applause? Loud of applause yeah. for dear Masi. Yes, she was holding it down. And to my extreme right. My name is Necha Saudima. Uh -huh. And I'm just mwah, so happy to be alive today. Oh. 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 Wow. And I myself, my name is Lisa Odornoa. Okay. Thank you for joining us. Yes. 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 All those arrangements. Yes. Music director. <laughs> When I'm with a gorgeous. That's what I'm Everyone was ready. ready. <laughs> <laughs> All our socials will be in the description box below. So if you're looking for us, if you want to hear us, find the music on Spotify and any other streaming service. It has been a pleasure to be host for you, mm. to, be, to be able to sing for you, to show you who we are in a fraction of a moment. So I hope that you never forget it. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye. Happy International Women's Day. Happy International Women's Day. How do we get a little slap, a few snaps in? Look you doing it, come on. Come on, Barbara. Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Breeze drifting on by, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. And I'm 
Makes me feel what? Makes me happy. 